Okay, welcome to part two of the simple analog clock in Python 3. This is a beginner tutorial. So far, let's see what we have. We have basically created our, our window where we're actually gonna draw everything. And it is 600 by 600 and has like a nice little title for us. So let's get started. Um, so with the turtle module, which we're, which we're building this on, um, is we need to actually create like a little turtle. And I'm gonna call it a pen because we're using it to draw. And it is turtle dot turtle okay again watch the, the capitalization and I say so I'm going to create our drawing pen okay so basically this creates a little turtle object and what I want to do is I want to actually hide that turtle because we don't need to see it on the screen it, we can still draw with it we just don't need to see it on the screen and I'm going to say pen dot speed zero this is the animation speed this will actually let it this actually lets it draw as fast as it possibly can and I'm going to say pen dot pen size three. So that's the width of the lines that the pen is drawing. Now notice I've put this here. I still have wn dot main loop at the very end of the program. That should be the last line of your program. So don't accidentally put that up here and add stuff after that. Okay. So now uh, what I want to do is I want to, and I don't have to do it this way, but this is a nice way of organizing our code is I want to make a function called draw clock. So I'm going to say def, which makes this, which defines a, a, a function or a method. I'm going to call it draw clock. And what I want to do is I want to send the pen as the argument. So I'm going to say, basically what I'm saying is I want you to draw a clock using the pen that I created here. Now I could put this inside, there's, 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 I don't have to do it this way, um, but this opens up some options later if we want to create multiple, uh, I say multiple clocks on the screen. Okay? So now here I am indenting four spaces, um, and you could use a tab, doesn't matter. Uh, spaces are recommended. And so what I want to do is, for this lesson at least, is I want to draw the pen face, or sorry, draw the clock face. So, clock face. So how I'm gonna do that, okay, is, is I'm going to say pen.up, that means I don't wanna draw a line, and then I'm gonna say pen.go to zero to 10. And what that's going to do is it's going to take the pen from the center of the screen. It's going to put it up around here. And then I'm going to say pen.setheading 180. And now the directions in the turtle, they're not uh, what you might expect. Zero is over this way. 90 is this way up. 180 is to the left. And 270 is down. Okay, so I'm putting my turtle here. And it's going to be facing to the left. And let's see here. I'm going to say pen.color. I want it to be green. You don't have to choose green. You can choose whatever color you like. And let's see here. And then I'm going to say pen.pen down. Because I, at this point, I do want it to actually draw a line. And then I'm going to use the circle method. So I'm going to say pen.circle and 210. And 210 is the radius of the circle, I believe. And you notice I had like a little red line there. It's because I had a tab, not spaces. So you can either have spaces, four spaces, or you can use a tab, but you can't mix them. You got to choose one or the other. Okay, so let's draw that. Let's run that and see what happens. Okay, not very, ah, not very impressive. Uh, those of you who are following along at home, what did I forget to do? Okay, so if you recall, if you've done, done functions before, here I've defined the function. Okay, defining it does nothing. Defining just says this is what the function does. I actually have to do something called calling the function. So I say draw clock and pen. Okay, so pen here and pen here. Um, so this will actually jump back to here and draw that, or use the pen, I should say. Let's run it. Okay, and there is our circle. Pretty cool. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to 
draw the, I don't know what you want to call it, draw the uh, lines, you know, for the hours or, you know, minutes, you know, that, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the following. I'm going to, I'm going to move the pen back to the center. So pen dot pen up, because I don't want to draw a line anymore. Pen dot go to 0 comma 0. I gotta make sure I have spaces, not tabs. And then then what I want to do is say pen dot uh, pen dot set heading 90. And if you recall what I said earlier, 90 is facing straight up. So basically it's going to be looking straight up towards 12 o'clock. Now what I'm going to use here is I'm going to use a for loop for i, and I didn't have to use i, I could actually just use an underscore since we're not actually going to be using it, in range. It's just a kind of a placeholder. And there are 12 hours on that dial. So I did four and four indents. So I'm going to say pen dot fd 190 pen dot pen down so basically what I'm doing is I'm going up just before the circle putting the pen down and I'm going to draw up to the circle uh, and I say pen dot fd 20 and again I just played around with the numbers I didn't, I didn't have these memorized I just played around with them until I found what was what was working then I want the pen up because I don't want to draw anymore. And I say pen dot go to zero comma zero. I'm going to go back to the center. And then I go pen dot rt thirty degrees. So thirty times twelve is three sixty. So that'll give me equally spaced lines around the circle. So let's run that. Okay, you can see it actually doing that uh, as we, you know, basically we're running the program. So you see there is a little bit of a lag. I'm going to show you how to fix that later. Um, but for now, that's basically what we want to get out of this lesson. Okay, so we drew our clock face by jumping our pen up to here, drawing a circle all the way around here. Then we came back to the center, jumped to here, put the pen down, drew a line, jumped all the way back down after putting the pen up, turned, jump, draw, jump, turn, draw, and repeat it all the way around the circle. Okay, so in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to actually draw the, uh, you know, hour, minute, and second hands, which is going to be pretty cool. Here, so I'll see you there.